Hi, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Camp Maid. Today we are going to be cooking Camp Maid Cinnamon Swirl Peach Cobbler, one of my faves. So first, I've already prepped all of the food. We have our, one of my favorite Camp Maid products is our lid holder. I'm going to just stick this on here to begin with and set the lid aside. The best part about this, as I always say, is that it keeps it off the ground so you don't get dirt inside your food. So we're just going to put the lid aside and um, we're going to start out by just getting any sort of cake mix. Today I'm going to kind of spice things up and do a little bit of a cinnamon swirl for the holidays. So I've done two cans of peaches and we want to keep all the juice in there because that's what's going to keep everything um, cooking and um, it's going to pull the cake together. So I'm just going to put in my two cans of peaches. Some people like to put butter underneath. I personally don't to keep things a little bit on the healthy side. So I'm just going to stick in my, um, and I'm actually going to do half and half. I'm just going to put in half of this, and we're going to kind of do a layer. So if you can see, I'm just going to kind of do half right there. No need to stir, so we're just going to kind of want to put this over here. Thank you. <laughs> my camp helper. And I'm going to stick a little bit of, and this is my own addition. I have some pecans. I'm just going to kind of layer it in here. Personally, like to make things a little bit nutty, and then this came with the um, with the packet, but this is like a cinnamon uh, sugar. So I'm just gonna layer this on here, try to evenly do it, but have some fun with it. And actually, what I am gonna do is I am gonna stir this a little bit just to get the cake better in with some of that peach juice like this and then I'm going to add a little bit more of my cake batter. We'll just put the whole thing in there like that. And I get that all mushed together. I'm going to add in a little bit more nuts, just kind of whatever you think. This is about five ounces total, but I'm probably just going to put in about like three ounces. And today I'm using a 10 inch Dutch oven for this, but if you want to double the batch, you can always use a larger one. All right, so we got that all mixed in. Um, and then we're going to do another layer, so we're just going to put some more cinnamon and sugar on the top like that and then we're going to add in some slices of, and this is about one cube of butter I just sliced them we're just going to throw them on the top this keeps your food nice and moist and then again I'm just going to throw on some nuts on the top right like that all right and then we can just use our Dutch oven lid holder camp made my favorite stick it on here um, I always like to say that we're using a 10 inch uh, Dutch oven, so we're going to use 10 coals plus 2, so that's 12 on the top, and then 10 coals minus 2, so 8 on the bottom. I think I got my math right on that one. So, and remember, always have fun with it. You're camping. Let's just make it a good day. <laughs> and remember, the best part about Camp Made Lid Holder is that you want to check it. Um, we're going to cook it for about 40 to 45 minutes. Um, about 350 and the amount of clothes I told you that'll keep it at 350 so we're just going to use our camp made lid holder to kind of put to the side we can stir it this is great you don't get any dirt at the bottom and remember as you stir you got to put a little love into it thanks we did do the grandma a moment and my favorite part about the camp made lid holder is that you can check it if you need to do a little stir or a little taste just put it to the side, you give a little stir. And remember, as my grandma used to say, a moment on the lips, forever on your hips. But it's, but it's so good.